Hello everybody, it is me, Mark, from SSI, and today we're doing another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I believe this is episode number three, if memory serves correctly. Um, unfortunately, I, um, you know what, wait a second, let me go back. We actually updated to version 20.2, so with all those um, updates, I had to redo all the mods and everything, so that's why I was holding off um, for the mod spotlight until now. So, let's hop to it. We're going to start a new game, and let's see, circles? No, 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 we're going to go back to that one. Sure, why not? Let's name it something that... Yeah, and we still can't do career, which I'm, I'm very sad about. But this actually changes color, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Alright, let's start it. Alright, so, first off, ah, uh, we have a crap ton of mods that- Ooh, okay, didn't mean to click that. We have a lot of ma mods, that's what I want to say, mods. And, you know what, wait a second, let me open up where I have all them, so I can actually tell you guys. Alright, so, um, pretty much the main mods that we got in this is Keythane, DMV Mark II, um, Ion Hybrid Pack, Apollo Saturn V, um, it's, that's the Apollo Saturn V rocket, um, unfortunately that one doesn't really work that well, um, DSM, uh, Home, KSA, uh, TT Modular Wheels, B, B9 Aerospace Pack R3-2, um, just let you guys know, the B29 Aerospace Pack R3-1C, that one is extremely buggy, isn't it? Didn't show up half of the structural pieces and stuff like that, which was absolutely horrible, I hated that. Um, then we have, um, Thermal Aerospace Research, uh, Fire Spitter, uh, pre-release something or other, I don't know. I, I don't know what that... Whatever. And then we have, lastly, KW-Rocketry. Um, for now, that's all I have installed. Um, I have I do have Quantum Struts, Impossible Innovation, um, ESA Pack, um, Spherical Tanks, and um, Engine Shields that are not installed yet, just because I didn't have a chance to install those yet. But... Nevertheless, all the major packs. The other ones, those other ones are pretty much just like, just the fancy stuff. Um, now, just so I show you guys the um, Saturn V crap, pretty much. Um, I'll show you guys how it doesn't work. Um, as you can see, it has doesn't have a texture except for here, in the very top. And then again, that texture doesn't even work. All right, so I'm gonna throttle up, and as you're gonna see in like two seconds. It's not gonna work. It's just gonna start going down. So that is why I hit the backstage button and abort. This is the only part of the rocket that like actually works. Yeah, that's that's the only part that works, which is really sad. Um Yeah, that's about it. That was my stomach. I don't know if you guys just heard that, but my stomach just growled. Alright, let's end this flight. Uh, and you know what? We're just going to start going down the line, pretty much. Um, hold on one second. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. Sorry about that. I just needed to take care of something really quick. Alright, so... What we're gonna do today? Okay, so everything stayed the same as for the tracking station, um, the commands or the command centers. Like there haven't been uh, really that many new parts put in or anything. Uh, there's a flag now, um, but really no many, not many new parts. I don't think any, no, no put. I don't think any new parts were put in. A lot of parts were rebalanced, and um, what else? Uh, yeah, basically just a lot of bug fixes, and there's also the, um, way that things are allocated as far as in the memory and stuff like that. That also changed, like, the compression thingy or something. Anyways, okay, so, I'm just gonna start going down the line. Um, okay, so, I'm gonna load over here. Um, Ares 3A, 4A, and the uh, Avalé, whatever that's called, I can't even say it. Those are all standard, um... So we're just going to start off with the B9 pack. 
B9, I love B9. I love the B9 pack. I mean, look at that. That that that's pretty darn awesome. And watch me, okay? Come on, recenter yourself. All right, that's that's a pretty darn looking cool rocket. At least I think space shuttle rocket. It's a space plane. Whatever. That's what I meant to say. All right. So let's launch it. Um. Also, as you guys see this F F A R stuff and this beautiful box right here, I love this box. Um, this tells you all the toggles like um, saber between, or uh, yeah, spray. I I don't even know how to say that. Saber or saber. I don't know. Anyways, it's meant for these engines. It's meant to switch them between oxygen um, from the atmosphere and oxidizer. So when it goes out in the outer space. Uh, fun stuff like that. Uh, then you also have the crew shields. As you can see those closing right there, which is totally awesome. I really love that. All right, so I'm just gonna throttle up and hit space. And don't forget throttle up is shift for those of you people who are horrible and didn't know that. And this thing really does zip along really quickly. And we're gonna get to it. And I'm just gonna start taking off. All right. Now I'm gonna. I'm also gonna. I'm gonna talk about the F A R, the um, that mod right now. Um, it's a really, really cool mod. Um, it actually, it pretty much redoes um, the aerodynamics in um, Kerbal Space Program. Like it pretty much completely redoes them. Um, and so that's why I'm talking about it now because it has to deal with the B9 pack, which is all about planes and stuff like that. Um, there's also a couple new additions um, to the B9 uh, pack is these intakes in the bottom right here um, these intakes um, those motor or engine mounts right here then you have the motor or the special motors there another intake that is right on top here the the fuselage um, the command pod or whatever that's all the same um, new wings though as you can see see how it's a recessed like those are actually recessed into the wing those are actually new um then we also have of course this engine which is the same as those um up here uh, and these are really cool engines because they fly using um it's actually ah oh, darn it i was watching it um on bbc i believe yeah bbc i was watching it and uh Basically, there was a guy who created a space plane, um, the very first space plane to be able to go up without using like rockets that detach. Every the whole space plane stays together. I believe the only thing that it ejects though is the nozzles, like these nozzles it ejects them or like closes them to make it so that they um, propel more or something rather or open up. I, I don't remember. Um, Oh, speaking um, of new stuff as well, um, I keep on forgetting these guys right here. Those are all monopropelled tanks. Um, don't I believe those two center ones are also monopropellant? Yes, they are. I just I can't really see the yellow on the sides, but those are monopropellant. Um, and this monopropellant is for the new RC jets or RCS jets. So I want to turn RCS in a second. And as you can see, RCS jets. It's really, really cool because they're recessed and they actually look like awesome besides the old ones which look kind of crappy uh oh oh crud we ran out of air oops okay i'm just gonna kill the engines and yeah wow this isn't actually that bad of a cutout i was expecting it to be so much worse and it just got worse Ooh. Alright, let's see if I can save this and land it. I, 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 stop spinning. Stop it. Stop it. Stop spinning. Stop it. I command you to stop. Stop spinning. Oh, it just caught on a little bit. Eh, come on. Nose down. Or up. That's fine. That's fine. Do. Eh, come on. Come on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I kind of went way, 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 way too high. I, I didn't realize how high I was going. Whoopsies. Yes, 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 yes. All right, switch to oxidizer. And come on, come on. Come on, work with me, work with me. 
Come on, come on. I just want to live. And space. Throttle it up. Yeah, I'm going to use the oxidizer so I can get myself back down. Come on, get that velocity going down, down. And I'm going to toggle in between. I right, come on, give me that oxygen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, turn over. Or not, or just stay upside down. That's fine, too. Alright, so I'm gonna fly this upside down for a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, come on. Turn. Turn, 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 turn. Uh, yes, I know I'm in danger of stalling. Damn it. I'm trying to land a space plane that's really careening out of control. Oh no! Oh gosh, it's really going wonky now. Whoa! This thing is really just like... Come on, nose down! No, 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 no. Uh, it's gonna crash, it's gonna crash, it's gonna crash. Uh, oh, wow. I did not just save it. Oh my gosh, I just saved it at the very end. Alright, well... Anyways, no. Now you're gonna crash. Or not. Yeah, you are. Boom. Alright. Alright, moving on to the next plane. Because we're just gonna go down the list because that took a little bit too long. Alright, so we got the B9 Hellion. Hem. Hmm. Heinelin? Heinein? Hi I don't know how to actually pronounce that. Strutzgradsky? Strutzgradsky? I don't know exactly how to pronounce this one either. I, I, I'm horrible at words, I guess. There's my pretty. <laughs> I love this one. Look at how big it is. Um, hopefully I can get it to actually fly. I haven't been able to get it fly to fly yet. Um, yeah, it's kind of really hard to fly. Oh gosh! I completely forgot to mention also in the B9 uh, B9 pack, um, uh, air brakes. These guys are right back here. Air brakes. I completely forgot to mention those. Oh right, yes, so let me close those up. Throttle it up. Come on, come on. There's also thrust reversers on here, which I'll show you later. I just want to see if I can. T what? It worked. Come again? What? That is awesome. Gears up. That is awesome. Oh, yes. Yeah, I was having so much trouble with this plane beforehand. Um, I was just having so much trouble because I guess... You know what it probably was? I, it was probably... Um, uh, what do you call it? And I'll think of it, of course, again. Um, it was when the, when I was using um, 1C, um, which the pack was extremely unstable during. Okay, I'm going to put the landing gear back on because I'm going to land this. Um, yeah, the everything was extremely unstable. Um, so that's probably what it was. All right, so let me toggle, or let me hit I again, and rear cargo door, cargo bay lights. No, no, no. I want, okay, so two. Two is the toggle for engine thrust reversers. Alright, so I'm just gonna come in relatively slowly. I'm actually coming in really fast, but oh well. <laughs> Alright, I just turned on those thrust reversers. Oh dear! Oh, oh no. Oh gosh. Oh no. I shouldn't have turned those thrust reversers on. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Ow. Ow. Oops. But hey, they all lived and they're all happy, so I guess that's good. Alright, I'm gonna end this flight and I'm gonna restart it just because I wanna show you guys one more thing. Come on. Come on. Reload. Come on. Ah, there we go. 
Um, in this beautiful, wonderful plane, as you can see here, we actually have a docking port all the way up there, so we can actually put stuff inside of this, and we can actually um, launch it out of the ship. Now, how? Now, I can imagine that you have a question of how in the world we would launch it out of the back of the ship, and the way that we would do that is, is wait, let me find the button. Uh, there it is. Boom. If you toggle five or if you hit five it opens this rear door which is so cool so i can be literally be flying and just open that up tilt backwards hit space bar to eject whatever is in there and it'll just come right out and that'll be awesome like let's say if i put like parachutes at the very bottom and just launch something out it would be super cool you know what i might show you you know what that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you guys that uh -oh. Okay, everybody, I am back, and I am flying my newly and improved, um, crap, I already forgot the name of it, something or other, and we are going to be doing a drop. Okay, so, um, what I did is, actually, I'm going to open it up, um, if you look inside, I just put a little bit of something, just something that's holding on for dear life, as you can see, it's nicely wiggling around, but it's still connected, so I'm going to close that back up. And I am going to hit I, because I need to find out what the uh, back door is again. Okay, back door is three. All right? All right? Oh, darn it, no. Wait, no. Darn it, which one is the back door? Five. Okay, so, opening it up with five. Okay. As you can see, we have our payload wiggling around in there. All right, so I am going to go let this start pulling itself up a little bit, and then I'm going to hit space... And hopefully, we are going to get to see something fly out. Pfft. Look at that! Beautiful! Awesome! Close up that door again. And we have our first object thrown out of our Strutchen Burger. Whatever it's called. <laughs> Big plane that I really like. Uh-oh, it's saying stall. No, you're not going to stall. You know why? Because I'm telling you not to. Throttle that up a little bit so I can make a tighter turn. Come on. I love this giant plane. I absolutely love this giant plane. I'm so happy that it's actually working now. And leveling off beautifully. See, so yeah, that's pretty much throwing stuff. That's about it. Or launching stuff out of the back of it. Alright, now let's quickly go and I'll show you uh, next portion. Come on, space hanger. Da, 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 da. Um, I'm not gonna fly these because you guys pretty much get the normal gist. It's a space plane, it flies, it's awesome. Um, okay, so after the Strutchen Burger, we have the Bradley. Oh, really nice plane, really nice plane. Goes nice, fast, and awesome. And we have, let's see here, the um, Von Gut. Von Gut, um, which this one is absolutely annoying, absolutely annoying. I really am annoyed like 50% of the time by this thing. I mean, it's it doesn't want to fly nicely with me. It just doesn't, which is fine, whatever, but I, I, I cannot get this darn thing to fly. Um, and of course, it can drop stuff off just like the other one has a decoupler right there. Uh, one good. Okay, so now we have the Vance, and then we have the Heldman, which is going to be the last one of these. Um, this is one that like you can make it take off like up and down and stuff. I suck at flying this. Um, I'll I'll show you really quickly. I'm gonna show you, cause it's it's really a pain in the butt. Okay, so toggle engines and intakes, which is one. Raise um the engine as you can see it raises it. And then it lowers it, but it doesn't go like, it goes like down, but it doesn't pass that. It doesn't pass the 180 degree mark going like this, or up and down. Alright, so, and that's pretty much it. I'm just going to throttle up, quarter of the way first, full up, three, hit three a couple times, hit three again. No, 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 no. Okay, yep, uh, and dead. Uh, yeah, yeah, as, yeah, I really don't have any patience with that. I, I really don't. I really don't. 
It's it just it doesn't like me. I don't like it. And then we have the last B9 plane, which is really cool. I like this one. It's pretty much like a fighter. It's like it reminds me of the F22. I mean, it's it looks it looks awesome. And even and these engines are also awesome. I'm gonna launch this one. All right, come on, put that over there. And throttle up, space bar, same old, same old. And, but this one also has thrust vectoring, and you can enable it and disable it. As you can see, the engines, they're going up and down like that, because that's the thrust vectoring turning on and off, or moving it. See, did you see that? Vunk, look at this, look at that, look at that, that, look at the control. The control on this baby, oh my gosh. I almost stalled out there, but I didn't. Look at that. I was able to, I was able to pull it back out of a stall. And of course, has the air brakes, which are awesome. But jeez, I love this plane. I mean, and it, it can go pretty darn fast too. But it's super sleek. And I love how you can pull yourself out of a stall like really quickly, because of those um, thrust vectoring uh, jet engines, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna fly around quickly. Head towards the deck. Lander, hopefully. Hopefully the wheels deploy. Oh, gosh. I did not realize how fast we were going. Alright. So I'm just going to kill the engines and just... Yeah. I'm going to hit that brake a little bit. Ooh. That was a little bit too close. Alright, and safe and sound, hopefully. Come on, break, break, break. Come on. Come on. Alright, there we go. Alright, safe and sound. And of course, all these have running lights. Just, yeah, I completely forgot to mention that. But every single one of the wheels have running lights. So, yeah, it's really nice. You can land the planes in the dark without any issues at all, pretty much. And so, yeah, this is concludes... Part one of the mod, I'm gonna or the mod spotlights for now, if you will, and um next or tomorrow or not tomorrow, jeez, next episode I'm gonna be going over the FRA planes. Those are pretty cool, and they're all actually stock parts, which is even better. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you guys later.